in a sense, I'd like to think of this as a continuation of what you heard Louise talk about. And I think we, we all from this room did get a chance to hear her. And I think the, the way I want that to continue is to look at the assumptions that she was exploring and that I think are really fundamental to the business that we're all in. And that specifically is the incentive used to create a job. But let's think about disruptive technologies in industry in general and say, what are the things that would completely change the dynamic of what a company does, or in this case, what our profession looks like? And in order to do that, I think we have to go right to the very heart of what we consider success as, a, as an economic development organization, or as a consultant, or for that matter, as a state agency. What is it that counts as the final arbiter of whether we have done our job or not? And what if that very thing that we base our success on is itself going to be the victim of disruptive technology? So with that introduction, I, I want to I start off on a slide uh, show that we originally prepared as a uh, Ignite presentation. And, uh, and I think for people who get Ignite presentations right, Antalio sitting there in the front row is one of those. And, uh, and trying to do something a little bit different with the PowerPoint itself. In fact, our, our son, who as we speak right now is on his way to his first gig in the military at Fort Benning, Georgia as a newly minted second lieutenant, I asked him what, what he was most anxious about in, uh, in going to training at Fort Benning, and he said, death by PowerPoint. So there was no, no greater fear that he had than to sit in hours of classrooms with PowerPoints. But um, 